What to make of Fred's comments about the vanity possibly at play oh. inside the Old Trafford dressing room? Vanity? Never. Uh, Footballers? Oh. Premier League team? OK, let's see what he had to say. We need to improve in everything. The togetherness within the team, he says. There is vanity within the group. Oh. We need to focus on the same objectives. When everyone has the same objectives in their minds, we start moving forwards. But one player just wants to play well or another to score a goal himself. It's more difficult to make forward passes. So um, <laughs> he's, he's basically saying he's being put upon by the fact that no one's playing as a team. <laughs> no one in front of him, at least. Right. Who do, who do okay. you think he's got in mind? Well, can I, can I just say, I'm afraid we... There may be something lost in translation here, and that things that mean something in Portuguese don't quite mean the same thing in English, and then somehow we've made a literal translation and we get to this. When he says we have to be together, well, yes, that's true for any team. That we have to work together towards the same objectives, well, yes, that's true for any team, especially a team like Manchester United, who we've known and it's well documented that they have struggled. Uh, there is vanity in, in a soccer locker room. Oh no, really? There are egos in a soccer locker room? When did we find this out? Oh wait a minute, there are people that get their feelings hurt inside a soccer locker room? Come on. <laughs> it, it, whether he should be the right player to be saying this or not, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it, to me it feels like because he's a Manchester United player and because he's given somewhat of an inside look to a locker room, and it could be at the inside look to any locker room for that matter, um, then we think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a huge deal. I, I, I think if I were Fred, I wouldn't say anything about the locker room to begin with, but maybe he was asked a question, he came out and said what he said, but there is nothing inflammatory here and there is nothing that you would say Wait a minute, who is he talking about? Why are they not together? Well, look, it happens. In a team that's struggling, guess what? More times than, than not, there is some finger pointing that goes on. It happens. If everybody was flying, say Liverpool, do you think there's finger pointing going on at Liverpool right now? No, everybody's enjoying and having a good time. But when you're not doing well and there are a certain expectation and there is certain pressure because you're a Manchester United player and you're not doing well or as well as you should be doing, then people are gonna talk, outside the locker room and inside the locker room. If people are gonna sit here and then say, well, because Fred said this, now the, the locker room is falling apart, then one, you're thinking that Fred has too much power in this locker room, much more so than, I think it's clear that he does not quite have that sort of influence in this locker room. He may not be in this locker room for too much longer, let's be honest, and so uh, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not get crazy and get caught up in all of this and, and, and let's just say that he put out some things that are true not only for the Manchester United locker room but potentially for a lot of locker rooms out there. Yeah, it's a very generalised comment as well, isn't it? Yeah. He couldn't necessarily be specifying players within his team and, and the danger, of course, is when we yeah. uh, put out stuff like this as well, that fans the flames for no apparent reason and, and his words get misquoted back to him and his teammates and in the situation that Manchester United are in, these questions will get asked where those sorts of responses come up as opposed to, like you say, when the team is flying, no one's putting a microphone in his face and saying, hey, what do you need to do to improve? Mm. Yeah, and but this is when players have to be much more intelligent than this quote and much more intelligent than us talking about it and, and say, well, look, if you have a problem with what Fred said, then you go to Fred directly and say, what did you say? And what did you mean? And if you have something to say to that very person, to that individual who's making runs just because he wants to score goals himself instead of the team objective, then let's talk to that person. What you could say and you could argue is that is there a leadership presence within that locker room that would actually facilitate this. I said, Fred, what did you say? All right, you go and tell him what, uh-huh. All right, we resolved it, you okay? You okay? Let's go play. If there is no leadership within the locker room, then these things can fester and then, well, you said this and he said that and then he said that and then he said that. And guess what? It shows up out on the field as well because then you have a team that struggles time and time again. But let me be very clear. When Manchester United is struggling right now, it's not because Fred said whatever he said, okay? There are bigger issues in Manchester United than what Fred has to say or not to say and whether it was a full quote or a part, part of a quote. Let's be honest, Manchester United issues much larger, much bigger than Fred.
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.